that I've traveled 20, about 25 miles in a matter of what, 10 minutes? <laughs> All right, so here's what I got going on. Uh, spare tube in a Ziploc bag. I got a rubber band just to hold the flap down. And uh, I got a zip tie around the seat stays here on my frame with some electrical tape to protect it from the zip tie scratching the frame paint. And then I got this resting sort of between the brake bridge here and between the seat stays and it fits just fine it's really on there nice and tight it doesn't affect my brake the road caliper there works really well um, just gotta be careful you really don't want this falling down if it hits your wheel falls down there that could be an instant crash so gotta be careful blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. brake plogger on my way to work on your way to work? What are you talking about? It's uh, Saturday afternoon, the sun's going down. What are you talking about? Well, working some overtime, putting in some more hours. The economy's heating up, these are getting really busy, at least at my workplace. Whew. And it's chilly. Winter time, it's a weird time to be busy. For me anyway. Working in the, the uh, construction and architectural industry. Let this, thing, let this guy go. There we go. Today I want to talk about how to carry a spare tube with you. Just throw it in your backpack. <laughs> All right, if you're trying to be very minimalist, sort of like me, and you're only gonna take one tube, spare tube for your tire, and not two, I found what works is you can just use a Ziploc bag, put the tube in the bag, then you know, put rubber band it you know, together, and then zip tie it between your seat stays and your brake bridge. We're gonna go straight here. This truck might be, okay, here we go. That truck just turned on his engine and I thought he was gonna go, uh, man. Should've gone left there, I think. But I sort of wanted to cut through back here. Now what I was saying is there was a truck back there. He just was parked in the parking lot and I thought he was going to back up. He's getting a little concerned he might not see me, but uh, I don't think he even made the light. Because he didn't turn his truck on soon enough to back into the road. Actually, he probably shouldn't. <laughs> you never know what people might do, but I don't think you really should back into a road in the parking lot. You should probably turn around first and go head first. through here very carefully. Cycle lane! Cycle lane! Very slowly. Drop. There we go. That was a reference uh, cycle lane. <laughs> oh, I saw something funny last night. Um, trigger happy TV. I don't know if any of you have seen it before. With uh, Don Jolly, Don Jolly, whatever his name is. I used to watch him years ago on a TV series called Trigger Happy TV. Um, he did a Christmas special not too long ago. Um, that was pretty uh, pretty funny. Did a lot of like shooting from a helmet cam on a bike, uh, and he just kept saying "cycle lane, cycle lane" as he was like riding on the sidewalk and stuff. Uh, I thought it was funny. Even though, you know, he's making fun of cycling. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, years ago he did some funny skits on a TV series. Again, Trigger Happy TV also called, uh, well he had another one called World Shut Your Mouth, I think. I got a, a 
I've seen all those. They're all really funny. Uh, one, of his, one of his most famous uh, skits or pranks or whatever was uh, walking around with like a massive cell phone and just screaming into it like, hello! Yeah, I can hardly hear you! Just while there's a bunch of, you know, bystanders around. It's probably all, you know, staged, but I thought it was sort of funny. And then now in these newer, this newer uh, uh, special episode that they did. And again, this 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 TV series has got to be uh, the original series has got to be from like not 20 years ago, but like 15 years ago. So I guess I'm showing my age. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's funny because now he's got this uh, smartphone with this humongous video screen, like uh, he's you know skyping or whatever screams into it and it's got a it got a guy's face okay got a guy's face on the phone you, you gotta see it to understand what the heck I'm talking about so let's get back to bike related stuff um yeah so I've been able to figure out how to put a spare tire or two between the seat stays and the brake bridge of my bike and the rear triangle of the bike frame huh so what do all these signs say down. Some sort of employee parking. Didn't used to be striped all like this with all these uh, parking spaces. But then again, this didn't used to be here either. I couldn't really just cut through like this. It made it all uh, more accessible. Cut through this way real easy rather than going up against the bush there like I've done in a lot of past videos. Obviously, it was built for wheelchairs, not really bikes, but bikes have uh, two wheels too. Works really well for a bicyclist. Um, so, the way I usually do my videos is I stop halfway through and I sort of show you what I'm talking about. But in this video, I'm pretty certain I'll have the clip at the beginning of the video. Whoa! Gas, natural gas. Um, so, yeah, I probably already explained it all to you in this video, but uh, works really well. You just gotta be extra careful because sticking anything in the rear triangle, there's sort of a reason why there's space there. That is for clearance for your tire. If anything were to drop in there, get wedged between the seat tube, the frame that is, and your tire, you could crash pretty easily. Because, you know, it'd just be like a emergency brake or something. Ugh. There we go. Bike frogger. Uh, feeling really good right now. Oh, it's so much nicer in the weekend. There's nobody in these parking lots and uh, it's wide open. Traffic ain't so bad right now either. Under the pole. So there's talk behind me at that intersection to the right. Can't see it, but it's over there. They might be building another apartment complex. And the preliminary talks are talking about building a pedestrian bridge over that major intersection. Is any of that going to happen? I don't know. People are always talking about doing stuff like that. It doesn't often happen. Though. Nothing ever really comes of it. Because no one wants to pay for it. Uh, it'd be sort of cool though, because right now that intersection again behind me, you can't see it, but there's no crosswalk, which is odd. You know, because we're in a pretty developed, highly developed area I'm riding in, in the suburbs of St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, that's a major intersection. It's a lot of traffic, especially in the morning and uh, afternoon or evening rush hour, and there's no crosswalk. There's no signaling for it either. Um, so that's pretty dangerous for a pedestrian. Basically, you just got to time it like I do with my bike run across the intersection. Uh, 
there might be ramps uh, for wheelchairs, but eh, definitely not pedestrian friendly. Not at all, which is weird because there's that Metrolink station, which is much newer than the intersection, of course. The intersection has been there for eons. But they decided to build a light rail train station right there, which would be used by pedestrians mainly and uh you can't get across the street safely because you don't have any signal and uh yeah if i were to use that daily i'd be pretty upset about that it's coming along here to the left it used to be a road right there straight ahead uh i think so i think there was i think that's where the road was uh had a viewer ask, you know, can you still cut through that field? And I think they were referring to the one to my left. No, 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 he can't. The road is gone. There wasn't much of a road there before, anyway. There was also another sort of access road with gravel. That's gone, I think. Uh, you can't get back. You can't get back there. It's a construction site. You shouldn't be back there, anyway. Uh, so... You will be able to eventually get back there, I'm sure. Through a parking lot as they build the complexes over there. The uh, apartment complexes, that is. Um, let's see. Traveling at a brisk 21 miles per hour. Almost to work now. We've gone uh, about 25 miles. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I haven't reset my bike computer, so. That's a little encouraging. But I've traveled 20, about 25 miles in a matter of what, 10 minutes? <laughs> uh, let's reset that bike computer, speedometer, odometer. So now we've traveled 0.02 miles, 0.03 miles, 0.04 miles, 0.05 miles. Yeah, we're racking up the miles. The mile fraction. Oh, I missed the light. Light's green. Probably won't be up there in time. Not gonna kill myself trying. I'm going 18 miles per hour. That didn't work out. What do we do? I guess we just stop. In the crosswalk! <laughs> oh. No pedestrians around that I can see. Uh, let's see, so the time is, uh, I think it's, I think it's 4.15 in the p.m. afternoon. Got about another uh, 45 minutes till darkness. Sort of a little bit of a dangerous time to be riding when the sun is low make sure you have your lights on especially the rear light that way they can see you from a mile away if you got a really bright one in the sun it just makes you more visible it's a good idea so uh yeah this video topic was basically just about my setup with the uh tube the spare tube between the seat stays and the chain stay or the Break bridge. I haven't actually done that little clip that I put at the beginning of the video yet. I think I'm going to create it now because this is taking too long. So we're going to. Oh no, wait a minute. Here we go. I'll wait till I cross the road here. Da -da 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 -da. What are they doing over there to the left? I want to sort of cut through that way. I think we'll go left today on our way to work. They usually cut through over here. Let's see, what are these, all these trucks doing? Oh, they're not parked in my area. I need to make a right right here. Stop over here. 
All right, so we got that video clip out of the way. Now it's going to be tagged onto the beginning of my main video here. We're going to cut through this vacant lot real quick. Basically at work now. Da, 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 a little windy, pretty cold. Don't feel so bad right now. The sun helps a lot. It will be cold tonight, though. Slight chance of snow. Greater chance of snow on Sunday. Haven't really had any snow this year. Who knows how much we'll get. Maybe nothing. It's been a pretty dry, not snowy winter so far. So, thanks for watching. The bike vlogger will see you out there.